we are back with your weekly guide to all of the goings on in Liverpool and Merseyside. If there's a gig, a show, an event or a festival, then we will be there. Music, celebrity, comedy, theatre and lots of giggles as well. Yeah, and each week we come to you from a different venue in the city. And this week it's all about Bowl Street yep. as we take over Bretta and Co just off Bowl Street for the guide with Jay and Ali here on BTV Liverpool. <laughs> Welcome back to The Guide with Jay and Ellie here on Bay TV Liverpool. Look where we are today. Uh, it's Bretter and Co's just off Bowl Street. Thanks to the team for having us. Beautiful in here. It is so nice in here. And don't forget, we want to hear from you guys on Twitter. Our hashtag is The Guide. You can find us at Bay TV underscore Liverpool. And you can even find us on Facebook. Just search Bay TV Liverpool. And we've got an email. Don't Let's forget go. the email. The Guide at Bay TV Liverpool.com. Get in touch. Budding musicians, events, whatever. We want to hear from you. Let us know what you're up to and what you think of the show. So we've got another fun pack show for you guys. And as always, we'll be letting you know exactly what's going on around Merseyside gigwise. And as well as that, Joe Slater from yeah. Waterloo Road off the telly. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be singing over there and chatting to us too. And huge local band who've gone on to international success. The Wombats are going to be chatting to us a bit later in the show. But for now, let's have a look at their latest single, Greek Tragedy. She hits like ecstasy. Amazing. Uh, see my interview with the lads, with the Wombats, a little bit later on in yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. um, but, as well as that, we've got to talk about childhood crushes. Um, any normal <laughs> woman had crushes on George Michael, yeah. Jason Donovan, so Robbie obvious, Williams. Though. So obvious, though. Who was your crush on? Um, Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. <laughs> him of the brother of the Backstreet Boys brother fame. Of, yeah. Crush on you. Big 90s pop star. Huge he was. Yeah, this guess. is what happened when Ellie Phillips went to East Village Arts Club to meet Aaron Carter and flirt outrageously with him. <laughs> This is the interview that I have been so incredibly excited for. Um, you guys might know him as a multi-platinum selling artist and a brother of a Backstreet Boy, opened for the likes of everyone, <laughs> everyone from Britney Spears to even Michael Jackson. But to me, he is my childhood crush. It's Aaron God. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? And welcome to Liverpool. I'm good, thank you. And so, have you met any, any Scousers yet, or am I the first one? I mean, I think technically you're the first one. Yeah. So. And you know you're what Scouser is now, don't yeah, you? Well, yeah, you're the first one to introduce themselves as a Scouse. So, yeah. <laughs> Except for one other person on Twitter, but that was. But random. that was it. I was like, what are you talking about? But you've, you've toured in England before, haven't you? But you've yeah. never been to Liverpool before, have you? I don't think I have, no. no. I mean, yeah, I, would, I think I would remember. <laughs> because I was obsessed with you as a child. And, and so, you've, therefore, and you've I would have always know. been in Liverpool, right? Yes, I've okay, always yeah, been. So, I think you. <laughs> I got the phone call from our producer saying, so um, Aaron Carter's coming, would you like to interview him? I was like, yes, yes, I, I would do that, I could do that, that's fine, you can start me on with that one. So I genuinely, oh, so I nice. was what you'd call, an, was it an arinator? An arinator, yeah, oh, I was an arinator. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when I was young and you came here, you you only played Manchester. So I'm very, very pleased that you're performing in Liverpool for us. And and so for your fans in Liverpool, what can they expect from the tour because you're performing tonight? Uh, you know, it's it's a pretty intimate show, very personal. Uh, you know, it's all about the music. Yeah. You know, I have a, a one dancer with me, and she's You've got kinda, one dancer. I have one dancer. Yeah, we do like partner type stuff. Oh, okay. So you know, a lot of people might know I did Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. So uh, it's a good way to incorporate what I've learned on that show and yeah. kind of take what I I did in that show and incorporate it in my own. Great. And so for, for the fans that have been with you since the start, because you started when you were like seven, is it seven? Yeah, it's yeah. been 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. And so for those fans, <laughs> will you be singing your classic hits as well? Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to be singing like Crush on You, Crazy <gasps> Little Party Girl, none of that stuff, <gasps> unfortunately. You didn't realize you just broke my heart. I right know, I'll do some acapellas <laughs> Okay, <for> that's you. <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'll do that today. But you, but you better sing with me. I can do that. that. That's okay. fine. I'm okay with that. Seriously. <laughs> Like, my dreams are coming true right now, so I'm fine <laughs> with that. <laughs> so you're not going to be doing those, but what are you going to do? you got new material for us? i got new material and some stuff from the second album that I did. Oh, okay. So I, I you know, it, it, I didn't really register with me that, you know, the first album was really big here. Yeah. I mean, so, but, you know, this is just, you know, the first time that I'm kind of, you know, 
getting back over here yeah. and testing the waters out again, and I'll be back again. And and when I do come back the next time, I'm I'll have some some cool remixes and stuff for Crush on You, Crazy Little Party Girl, I'm gonna miss you forever, nice. all those stuff that you probably grew up with yeah, I did. listening to. And so. I still listen to it now. Do you know those yeah. songs? Like, <laughs> you still listen to it, your own Aaron, right? A little oh bit, God. yeah. Yeah, I did have your posters <laughs> all over my bedroom walls, just so you know. Oh I'm not God. like the crazy psycho stalker. I think I probably would have been at 12 years old, but I'm a little bit older now, so I've, I've, I've moved You've on matured. from that. <laughs> 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 but um, so after the tour, what's next for you? Because it's like a 75-day tour or something, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we've already completed those already okay. um, in like the later year of 2014. Uh -huh. And uh, this year, um, th there's a lot more dates being added. I have about eight different countries I'm going to be going Great. to. Still to come up, but uh, the UK was, you know, the priority and On the first list. place I wanted to get get to when it came to going overseas. Great. And so when you finish the tour, have you got something to look forward to at the end? Are you going to have a break of any sort or for you is it straight into the studio? What's the plan? Uh, you know, it, it really hasn't stopped. Uh, I... I started uh, kind of getting back into the thing. I did Dancing with the Stars in 2009. Yeah. And then 2011, I did uh, fan The Fantastics, which yeah. was a Broadway show yeah. in New York City. And then from there- that was there, a massive date, wasn't it, as well? That yeah, was a big, big yeah, show. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was like, we did like, I did like over 550 yeah. shows. Like Eight shows a week. It was super difficult and really hard. And uh, it was really, it was good for me though. You know, it was good, good to get, get me, you know, back ready for performing and then I segued from that into touring again and uh, I started in 2012 uh, in February and I literally haven't stopped and and you keep about. adding dates as well yeah it, just, it doesn't <laughs> stop it doesn't, it doesn't stop but I mean th that's what it's about and you know just to you know just keep pushing through and just keep doing lots of lots of shows and and 2015 is going to be a new year for me in music well thank you so much for coming to Liverpool uh, and I will definitely be here the next time you come as well you absolutely will you better <laughs> I will come find you <laughs> thank you so much Aaron. all right thanks guys Check you out flirting outrageously with Aaron Carter. What are you like? I know, but I think all my Disgusting. countless dreams have just come true, so thank you so much. You're the only person in the world I know who's, who's got a crush on Aaron Carter, by the way. If you missed any of that, check it out now. YouTube channel, Bay TV Liverpool. We've got tons on there. All yeah. our videos, yeah. all our previous Everything. shows, Kim Cottrell, uh, all on our YouTube channel. But right now, though, a star off stage and screen. Not only does this guy act, but he also sings. He plays the piano, the drums, the bass, and the ukulele and if that wasn't enough you'll already have seen him on telly starring in Waterloo Road. This lad plays Lenny in Waterloo Road. I love Waterloo Road. Yeah. Great show. He's Scottish in the show but he's really a scouser. I How are you doing I'm Joe Slater? Right, I'm sound yeah. I'm all right. Man. So how's Waterloo Road going? You've been in this for a while now yeah? No it is. Yeah I've been in it for a while now. I've done um, I think it's like three series after like 30 episodes uh, but no I, I love it. Absolutely great experience honestly it's, it's really cool. Can we hear some, some Scottish accent please? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> don't know about that. No oh, way. No, yeah, I'll do properly. I'll do properly. Um, what was what, what, what to say? Oh, how did you learn how to do the accent? Is that something that you, you, you did on your own, or did you go to acting school to well, learn what, that? Well, what happened was, um, when I was about nine or ten, I moved over to Scotland. Okay. Um, and then, like, to sort of, like, fit in in my primary school and stuff like that, I just sort of, like, just pretend that I was Scottish, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, that just sort of made it a bit easier, like, and then as I got older, I just sort of picked it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and stuff like that. Does so, a bit of Scouse ever come out? Accidentally? No. no. Professional. Professional. <laughs> Professional. But no. well, it's not your only love telly, is it, an actor? You've been acting for, for a long time. Yeah. Music is a, is a huge love of yours. Yeah. What comes first? Music. Really? So you're into your soul, your swing. You Every, know. Everything, man. You know, I love, I love soul. I love rock and roll. I love blues. I love jazz. I love reggae. I love everything. Just not pop music. Oh, right. okay. Like and you write music. your own stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm a songwriter, yeah. Let's talk about that because this is dead interesting yeah, to me. We love How that. do you start with when you've got a song in your head and you think, I want to write this down? Do you have to get it down straight away? Yeah, sometimes you do, process? yeah. Sometimes you do. Well, what happens is, um, like most of the time I write with somebody else, like I never usually write on my own. So um, the person I'm writing with at the moment is Paul Olden, songwriter from Liverpool. Um, so what we do is I'll go to Paul's, um, either I'll go get on this lad or he'll go, I'll get on this mate. And then we'll start playing it and then we'll start getting a melody to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we'll start, and then it just builds and builds. So and for builds, you, is really. it music first and then lyrics later? Is that how it usually? Yeah. Well, it's all about the melody. That's the key to songwriting. Right. It's all about the melody. You know what I mean? The lyrics, they, they just <laughs> they just come later. Yeah, they just come yeah. later. Yeah. Come later so yeah. that's the easy part. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. not all the time. I wish it was, but that's sort of, that's sort of like the icing on the cake sort of thing. The lyrics. You know what I mean? Any live gigs coming up? We should look out for you. you you've played live before, of course. Yeah, yeah. That must be a boss playing live. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it because like every every um, every like so often I play the Royal Court um, and they do like a Wednesday afternoon thing. Um, 
and like I've been playing that for like quite a long time. Now when you're playing to you know a good few hundred people, like on the Royal Court, it's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's yeah. boss. See, she sings all the time down here. Yeah. He hates really it. Annoying. Why? I'd love to put you on stage sometime just to, to see how hard. I'll it give it a go. Is. I'll give it a go. <laughs> Um, what we wrote, let's talk more on that. You must have a giggle in that cast, because obviously young and old, and it's it's a school, you must have a laugh there. Do you know what, I, honestly, the best two years of my life, like seriously, because when I was 16, I had to move away from home, like, do you know what I mean? And I was living on my own, and I was going to work like seven till seven every day, do you know what I mean? And I was, I've been with this like cast of people for yeah. so long, and you become sort of like a little bit of a, like a, yeah, like a like dysfunctional family, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But honestly, I'd such a laugh. Thank you, thank, much. You, Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, stay much. where you are. Next up, I'm going to be chatting to the Wombats. Big, big Liverpool band. International success. We go to the Magnet and see what the band are really like. Yes, we do. And we'll let you know exactly what's going on in and around Merseyside, gig wise, event wise, and theatre wise. Do not move a muscle. Don't go anywhere. We're back after this on Bay TV. Welcome back to The Guide with Jay and Ellie here on Bay TV, the only programme anywhere that keeps you up to date on all that's happening in Liverpool and on Merseyside. And let's be honest, tons oh, happens so in Liverpool. Much. If you love this city, you love this area, you love your gigs, your music and celebrity, uh, this is the show for you, The Guide, every single Thursday, 8.30pm. Uh, we like to bring you a few, few little features as to what's going on around the area. And this time we will start with a bit of comedy. Love comedy. Why not? The Laughter House does amazing things. It's so good in there. Yeah. Uh, comedy Central at Blue on the Albert Dock. They've got tons and tons of listings online. But Simon Amstel, he's coming to the Epstein Theatre on the 13th and 14th of February. Oh, nice bit of comedy there for Valentine's Day. See, to be fair, my Valentine's Day is normally a joke anyway. Oh, so I might yeah. as well go and see a, a comedian, might <laughs> not. Oh. Um, now we all remember the fantastic Tim Burton film starring Johnny Depp, Edward Scissorhands. Well, there's a special dance version coming to the Empire Theatre from the 27th of January. It's meant to be amazing, so if you can, check that one out. Imagine having scissors for hands. I know, it'd be a nightmare. How would you have a wee? How would you hold your drink up? Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about it. It really <laughs> doesn't. Uh, tons going on at the Echo Arena as yeah. well. The Kaiser Chiefs are coming on the 31st of January, and I can't believe they're coming to town. It's crazy. Queen it's are in Liverpool, obviously featuring Adam Lambert now, but still, what a gig that'll be. That's mega. Echo Arena, end of February. Yeah, and also, did you vote for uh, Sam Bailey when she won the X Factor? Well, if you did, you'll be happy to know that she is coming to the Empire Theatre on 6th of February. Great voice to get that if you can. Looking forward to that. Yeah. And if you like your clubbing, like I yeah, do, I do. <laughs> uh, 7th of Feb, get the glow sticks out. Cream is back in Liverpool. It's at Nation. Check that out. And we're here at Bretta & Co, Great just place. off Bale Street. Yeah. Bold Street, even. <laughs> it's lovely in here. It they do so tasting nice. nights. Yeah. So you can come in, you can taste wine, gin, whiskey. Nice. It's a lot of fun. There's two big ones at the end of the month, a charity wine tasting, red wine tasting, and also gin tasting. Check it all out on Bretta & Co's website. Sounds just do a like Google search. My kind of yes. night, definitely. And another kind of night that I like is great live music. Uh, last Friday, uh, the One Bats formed an intimate gig at the Magnet on Harbin Street, and our gin went along to catch the gig and to chat with the boys. This is what happened when Jay met the One Bats. Uh, so we're at the Magnet, big night tonight uh, for a local band. I'm, I'm with Dan, I'm with Todd from the a One Bat Down. Um, Murph's, Murph's gone, gone missing, he's gone AWOL, hasn't he? He has actually, yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, like... he didn't set his alarm <laughs> last night, right. and I think his phone ran out of battery, so uh, we played London last night, and we all got the train up this morning, and we were like texting him and trying to call him, and at about four o'clock he was like, oh, I just woke up. So is he, he's on his way though, isn't he? Yeah, he is yeah, going to yeah, be here. He's but... away. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to get here for the show, yeah. right. just about. <laughs> it's, it's a big night tonight, because obviously a homecoming gig, um, and it's really intimate in here. You were just telling me off camera that you played in 2004. It, it must be good to come back and play somewhere like this. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's like time, as we were saying, time traveling yeah. almost a little yeah. bit. It's just like it feels very familiar, mm -hmm. but it's. I mean, it is a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the last time. I think it was like two thousand six, maybe, but the last time we played here. Um, we've had a few nights out here in the meantime, so. Yeah. This I, feels I didn't know you still. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you still lived here. I, th I thought you'd be in London now or, or LA or somewhere. You know. I don't, I don't no, know we, we, like, we like Liverpool a lot. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's the, I think it's a lot better than those yeah. cities that you just mentioned. But um, best city in the world, isn't it? it really? is. I, I, I think I think so. It's, it's a nice atmosphere and people are really nice and yeah. friendly here and stuff. So. What's it like playing to a Scouse crowd? Is it good coming back? Are your aunties in the audience? Are the neighbours in the audience? Are they all are they all here tonight? Yeah, our guest list is a bit bigger than it was last night. Yeah. Um, 
but it's uh, now it's always really special, isn't it? Playing like your hometown and where it all kind of started, and as you say, all the family come down and support, and they've all sort of seen us, you know, from the early days of not making a penny and like yeah. living on people's couches and like rehearsing in our parents' house and stuff. Yeah. And it's obviously nice for them to see things. Um, and it's great that it's a really intimate venue. Like last night, we played at this tiny little venue above a pub in London. Like 150 it's a lot, people. Lot smaller than here, so really? yeah. This is the kind of kind of the step up. <laughs> is it scary you're playing somewhere like this smaller because you, you can see the whites of people's eyes? Is it, is it a bit more nerve wracking? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I I really like 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 that a lot. I mean, I think it's nice playing big shows, but it's usually like when you have done quite a lot of big shows, it's really nice to do small shows and vice versa like, and stuff. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, you need need both. <laughs> and you can just you can hear everyone singing along, and you can actually see people's reactions, yeah. and you know it's a bit more. Yeah, gives you that buzz a bit more. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Mm. Uh, new album. Uh, we got Glitterbug coming out in April. New single is out now, which which is fantastic. I hate to say this because everyone uses this like a, a more mature sound, but but it is. It sounds. <laughs> it does sound a lot a lot. I was gonna say better than it doesn't because the last yeah. stuff was was great as well. But you 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 have moved on with it a little bit, haven't you? I know you can say better. We always, you know, of course, as a band, you want to, you always want to get better and improve and stuff. And um, it's um, no, we're really excited about all the new music. And um, I mean, we've obviously gotten older and stuff, so maybe we are it more com mature. Comes with a grey hair, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just noticed a few. Yeah, of yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the same, and I'm, I'm not meant to go grey. I'm ginger, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm shouting out to me ginger well. grey, ginger grey. Um, Let's go back to your, your past in Lippe, because Lippe at the moment, on this show in particular, we've had tons of kids coming through, and uh, the Valentines brothers, I don't know if you heard of them, Emilio Pinci, obviously Dan Kroll, all we are at, at the moment, they, they were all Lippe graduates, and you guys were as well, that's, what, that's where you met. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Lippe and, and your memories of, of that place. I was only there for a, a year, but then kind of smuggled myself in all the time with, with Murph and Todd. They were there for three it years. Was, it was a brilliant for like, you know, early days, kind of get recordings done in like amazing studios, get yeah. like really professional sounding demos. Yeah, and like all great gear and, you know. Rehe the, it yeah. Rehearsed there and all sorts. It was, yeah. it was just brilliant for, for the facilities and meeting people as well, like a lot of our crew. Uh, all, also went to Lippa, like sound engineers. And Let's uh, final question is: you, you've done so much over ten years now, been together. Glastonbury is it four times? I was there two thousand and eight. Was that when we were in a small tent? In the, I think you were in the other stage. stage yeah, yeah, I think it was the other stage. Great gig. But you've done some amazing. The Chili Peppers tour, the, the you know the awards that you've won. Can you both pick personally one one highlight of, of your career so far? Whew. Um, highlight of the career. It's a tough question, that isn't yeah, it? When you just put on the spot. Like a few. Uh, uh, coming back home to Liverpool and, and the headline, the Echo Arena was like ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was kind of really that was the capital of culture, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was, uh, oh, and you've done your, your, yeah, your we did own tour there, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was definitely a special night. Um, was like headlining glass. Oh no, headline. Um, <laughs> You've uh, been dreaming next again. year. That's next year. <laughs> next year. Yeah. By no, the I was going to say like with, uh, 2008 when you when you went to see us at Glastonbury. That obviously playing to that you know a massive crowd like yeah. that for the first time was um, you know Amazing. like messing. Yeah, just. Thanks for chatting. Enjoy, enjoy tonight. It's going to be a good Thank one. You. You're back in April at the O2 Academy, but it's it's sold out unfortunately. But the tickets available for some of the the, the other gigs on tour. Are you looking forward to the tour? Massively, yeah, yeah, yeah really looking wait. forward to. We're like little kids again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and new album is April the seventh, glitter, glitter bug. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. around then. Well, lads, thanks for chatting. Enjoy tonight. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Thank you. The one bats on Bay TV. Nice. I am so gutted. I missed that gig. I love the one bats. Definitely gonna have to see them the next time they're performing in Liverpool, which is going to be on Saturday the eighteenth of April at the O2 Academy. Cracking gangs, the lads as well. So thank you for chatting to us, the one bats. Uh, so competition time now. How do you fancy coming to this beautiful venue? Just just off Bowl Street, it's called Bretta and Co. Uh, we've got 50 quid That's to right, spend on food in Bretta and Co. If you come down with your partner or whatever, and we'll even throw in a bottle of house wine. Nice. Just get on Twitter now, retweet our last tweet, uh, and you could be in with a chance of winning that fantastic meal too at Bretta and Co. Yeah, get in touch with us on Twitter at FayTV underscore Liverpool, and you'll also tweet us, just use the hashtag The Guide. We also have an email address, we do. just The Guide at FayTVLiverpool.com. Get in touch with us, and next week we are back, Thursday, 8 30 pm. Um, a fantastic show is coming to Liverpool, educating Rita is back. We're going to chat to the cast of that, some Sound City lineup news, and fantastic music from She Drew the the gun. Love all that, but right now though, 
We chatted to him earlier. You've seen him on Waterloo Road already, but right now it's time to hear him sing. This is Mr. Joe Slater. Take it away, Joe. We'll see you next Thursday, 8.30. Take care. It's easy to me like everybody want to see me fall I try to speak my mind but it's like I'm talking to a brick wall the same So tell me why can't we all just get along God if you're dead tell me why you scared come down your stairs and help me out help me out God if you're dead tell me why you scared come down and help me out Help me out yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like everybody don't know Yeah. 